God's willing is always fun. Let's start that to the bottom. We're going to put protection on from green. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm TOS and you're watching Hello Good Game. Yesterday we looked at Naya Feather Best of 1 and today we were breaking down Naya Feather Best of 3. So we do have a couple of changes in our main deck. Uh, we dropped Tokari Honor Guard and we are rocking Legion War Boss. Um, I think that's basically about it. The shell of the deck is basically the same, just that one little change. Um, a couple other cards. I think we have an extra maybe Defiant Strike, perchance, and uh, Geared for Battle. So, we have three Defiant Strikes, two Geared for Battles, four Gods Willing, four Reckless Rages, three Shocks, four Adanto Vanguards, four Dreadhorde Arcanist, three Seasons of Growth, 10th District Legionnaire, two Legion War Boss, four Feathered the Redeemed, two Plains, two Mountains, one Rootbound Craig, three Stomping Grounds, two Clifftop Retreats. Four Sacred Foundries, four Temple of Triumphs, two Sun Petal Groves, and three Temple Gardens. We are still playing with this land a little bit. I think we could speed it up. But nonetheless, this is our main deck. Uh, still, Season of Growth is the only green card we're rocking for that Spice of Naya. When we break down the sideboard, though, we have three Disenchants, two Fries, two Lava Coils, three Gideon Backblades, three Prison Realms, and two Blood Suns. So I do have a sideboard guide today, so make sure to check that out down below. You can read through it and see what everything's about. I mean, obviously, Fry is removal for anything white and blue. Uh, Feather included, because he's a splash of white, right? Lava Coil is also that removal. Gideon Backblade's great for, say, control matchups when you need uh, someone who's not on the field. Or you need a little bit of life gain, right? Prison Realm is just lovely for Planeswalkers. Blood Sun shuts down Field of the Dead. Uh, disenchant will kill off a frenzy or an Ascanta, things like this. So definitely check out the sideboard guide. You'll get to see uh, all the top meta decks and uh, what you should be sideboarding in and what you should be sideboarding out for those matchups. I know I think we've got it pretty close. Um, I'm sure it could use a little bit more tweaking, but we're always improving, always getting better. Um, and I think it's really good. I did really, really, really well with it uh, today and yesterday. We've been playing a lot with it. I've really been liking it. Climbing up in rank finally which is great uh it's pretty consistent which i really like about it and uh yeah without further ado oh i guess we have a couple more things to say uh all of our gem giveaway winners we've had uh woot mtg and uh sebastian coleman reach out to me uh so we're gonna get those sent off for them today uh for the rest of you though make sure to join the discord in the link below uh Reach out to me once you're in the Discord, and we'll get you set up with uh, the gems that you've won. And a reminder to all of our new viewers, all subscribers are entered to win up to 500,000 in gems. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go back and watch that older video, my first gem giveaway video, to familiarize yourself. Okay, I think we've got it this time, so enjoy today's footage, and uh, yeah, make sure to have a great day, right? <clears throat> the Griddler, welcome to the house. All right, we're gonna play first. We always like to play first. Dun 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 dun. Hmm. We'll keep it. We love Reckless Rage, right? Get our forest in there for the little bit of Naya spice. Seasons of growth is amazing. Unfortunately, we're paying a little bit of life to get rolling here. Let's jump right out with our Arcanist. We could have done our Geared for Battle, but we want to wait and see what kind of removal he has for us this turn. Yeah, and we're not seeing anything. 
which is really cool. So let's double down. Where else can go? It's not something that's going to save us here. Slash that on again. Land can go as well. Recasting our gear for battle, and that's game! <clears throat> Those are some heavy hits coming in. Uh, and it's great to be able to recast a second time with your Arcanist. Uh, what deck was he? It could have been the Phoenix deck, and like an Is It deck, right? So maybe we should rock these Lava Coils for those birds. Maybe even a Prison Realm or two. And let's get rid of our War Boss, because it doesn't have flying. And let's throw out one of our Vanguards. Right, so we've incorporated a little bit of Exile. <clears throat> Uh, to deal with these Arclight Phoenixes, if he has them, even the Crackling Drakes, uh, we should be able to scoop out of the field. And then that will just, uh, you know, open up that hallway for us to get in. Okay, so tight on land. That's not going to work. Opponent does go first, but still. Still too tight, and this has not gotten any better. Unfortunately, we're forced to keep this. And we have to get rid of two cards. Let's lose a shock and a lava coil, I guess. So he's got a full hand. We're in a, a little bit of trouble here. Ooh, paying life. It's elementals, not phoenixes. We've uh, screwed the pooch here. Right? Now let's not let him ramp at all, I don't think. Ah, shit. We're gonna do our Arcanist. Try and just double Reckless Rage. Really push our luck, and hopefully we can take out a Risen Reef here, right? Oh, no. This is this some sort of uh, Nexus deck with mana ramp? What? This could be Risky Biscuits here. Now we see Risen Reef. But Risen Reef's also great for slamming through your deck. Let's grab this little bit of mana here. And unfortunately, we're only attacking for one, which is pretty weak. And he does get a draw. Let's see what he searches for with this Tameo. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. It is Omnarth, Locus of the Royal. Well, shoot. We can attack and kill that. So let's just throw another Arcanist out. And then we're gonna use our Reckless Rage on this Risen Reef here. I guess Basically just balancing his Tameo at five for now, which is not so good for us. Like, the longer he builds, the harder it's going to get for us. Especially since we're stuck on lands here. I have learned much yeah. from my ancestors. Um, I guess he could just take our Dread Horde Arcanist, right? <clears throat> we pulled that land, which is pretty nice. We're gonna take it, and we can cast it again later, right? And we do have his Tameo down to two now, which is really, really Your nice. Is noted. Hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> All right. Cavalier of Thorns he's digging for. He's looking for a big baddie. Which is weird. Cost five, so he must have the land. Pays for it anyways. And we have a Nyssa play. In this land, we are all connected. So you can just see how much value we're losing turn by turn with his planeswalkers here. Like the Tameo is technically a secondary draw. Um, Nissa is not a, necessarily a draw, but it's still that creature, right? Listening to Hail Mary Malin this morning. I absolutely love Aesop Rock Seek and, and Rob fun. Sonic. They are the best. He gets his Cavalier, but he mills two Risen Reefs, which is, I guess, pretty cool to me. I'll just replay that again, right? So it's not looking good this match. Ever since our draw hand, plays another Nissa, so we're definitely in trouble here. I'm not sure we have anything that can efficiently deal with this. Maybe we pull a Feathered and we can get in heavy, but again, he's just ramping beyond our capabilities. And we see a Lava Coil now. That's, that's game. Let's, let's just uh, be honest here. It worked. We just need... Uh, our land. We could have actually dropped our lava coil. If we had that for the uh, the bird, right? But now we're not playing against that, so. We're getting some aggressive mulligans on our opponent's side. We're just digging for land off the start here. There's no need to save a shock. There it is. Paying life. Let's get out early with a little bit of haste damage. <clears throat> Very nice. That shuts down our feathered. Just really, really cool. That's fine with us, though. No attacks there because it has protection from red, right? So I won't get any damage through. Incubation Druid, that is a nice target for me. Right? Uh oh, that's that, boys. We may as well cast it, we get it back next turn. And that way, both our creatures survive, and he can only block one. So we're getting four damage in. Next turn, we're able to drop our Seasons of Growth. Which is absolutely disgusting. Geared for battle. <clears throat> makes our Arcanist that much stronger. We'll keep our Shock because we're actually able to double cast that, which is a lot of fun. Right? That can go right up top to his chinny chin chin. Now we're going to cast it again. Which is really nice. Four damage for one mana. That is like as good as it can ever get. 
And now we're still hitting for six. Cued for battle back in hand. That should be game. Depending on what we see here, but it's going to be a hard, a hard climb for our friend. Only two blockers, though. That's the that's the problem. There's our land for Scry. God's willing, could stay. Let's throw this on there. God's willing is always fun. Let's throw that to the bottom. We're going to put protection on from green. Doing a little bit of climbing, which is always great. A little bit of a Q time here. Not a lot of people, I think, play best of three. Most people are in the uh, best of one Q. We're going to play first. And uh, it's a pretty slow hand, but we're going to keep it. It's not often that you see land and a couple creatures that you're able to play our opponent is mulliganing <clears throat> so let's see where that gets him playing with our cat real quick that's the key to a nice win is keep that kitty happy right we can throw our forest in taps You know, the red-black is a little bit frightening to me. We're gonna pay life anyways, and we're gonna test the waters with the Vanguard here. All right, so this doesn't have haste, but it's semi-resistant to removal here. Okay, Priest of the Forgotten Gods, this is okay. We can push through all this, which is really nice. Coming over for five. There's no way he blocks. Preacher of Forgotten Gods is a uh, high value card in this deck. We're getting a little bit of early damage in. Looking for uh, a little bit of battle trickery here. Maybe a geared for battle. Uh, Reckless Rage would be really, really nice. Even Shock would get the job done. Beautiful, easy, 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 easy win here. Uh, he did not like his draw hand, and he did mulligan. Let's get ready for game two here. Oh, what do we want? What do we want? We might need to get in backblade, yes? We're dropping our war boss for a couple Gideons here. Uh, we like A, Gideon's lifelink because we're going to be under uh, aggro attack, right? And B, we like the fact that he's off the field for the most part. So unless he's using Angrass Rampage, Sacrifice Planeswalker, or uh, Bedevil, I guess, to just kill the Planeswalker, we should be okay. Now our opponent is going to be putting in his lava coils, obviously for our feather. 
He could have lightning strikes. He could have like uh, Rascal's Contempt, Cast Downs. There's a lot of options at our opponent's disposal here for creature removal. We could have maybe taken a little bit more time on our sideboard just because uh, we're waiting anyways, right? So when you're sideboarding, make sure you're taking that full minute and a half. Lord knows your opponent will. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get two in a row here. Uh, this probably won't work. And this won't either. We have Seasons of Growth, which is really nice. So we're keeping our Sacred Foundry as our first play. We pull a Defiant Strike, so we could double draw by buffing one of our opponent's creatures if need be. Oh no, nice. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Butcher gets way out of hand, way quick. We need something to deal with this right now. Another, oh my goodness. Hit for three, they both power up. One to three, one to two, five next turn. Seven the turn after. All right, so we're a little bit lucky here. We get to burn one of them. We could have done it on his turn, but I don't want him to be able to buff him with spare mana, right? Let's get this draw in too. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure, I'm sure. Ah, uh, just a God's willing. It is a move of desperation for sure. We need we need a lava coil. We absolutely need. Uh, this is so aggro. Okay, shock doesn't work anymore. Um, yeah, good game. So we need draw hands with shock in it for this this next one here. Really? Really? Oh my god. That's sexy, isn't it? So we're going to take a couple Prison Realms here. Uh, we're going to lose an Adanto Vanguard. We're wondering if Gideon is worth it. It's hard to say, really. Um, we don't want to lose Defiant Strike. We don't necessarily want to lose a Shock. We do need... I believe to drop a couple cards. Let's see how that works. So for this match, I do believe that I forgot my mic off. So you're gonna get to hear a, a rendition of the things that I probably would have said. Um, might be a little bit less entertaining because I can barely see what's going on. Let's try to turn up our resolution here. Yeah, so it looks like a pretty good draw hands. I mean, we have a lot of removal, right? We have Reckless Rage, we have a Prison Realm, we have our Lava Coil. We have our 10th District Legionnaire to put that all on, which is really nice. So we should make out okay, right? Let's obviously get our Scry Land in first. And let's toss the land. No need for that. There's a lot of land in the deck, so when you have the opportunity to scry to the bottom, normally I take it, unless I actually have something I need that land for next turn, right? 
So we're getting that early attack in with our 10th District Legionnaire. Now the 10th District Legionnaire is really cool because whenever you target it with a spell, uh, it's actually going to put a counter on itself. And you get Scry 1, which is super cool. We're going to rush in now with our Vanguard. Let's see what we get to come up against here. Now, I cannot use Adanto Vanguard's uh, pay for life ability to make it indestructible because creatures can't exist with a negative toughness, which Moment of Craving would give him. So we have to let him die there. And we're getting a little bit more damage in now. We are chalked full of removal, a little bit of protection as well. So we should be pretty well set here to win the game. Chandra, Alakite of Flame, very aggressive. Need a match? Now no. we actually seen this uh, combo actually, I believe no. it was this opponent. He used uh, Divine Visitation with Chandra to create two 4-4 four, four angels with haste and vigilance, which is very aggressive. I don't have enough swears right now. We're able to uh, prison realm it though with our removal that we sideboarded in. Uh, like I said at the start of the video, Prison Realm is great for any Planeswalker removal. Things of the like. <clears throat> so here we're getting hit. We don't want to use our Reckless Rage yet. Because he could kill us because we're dealing one damage to ourselves and then our Reckless Rage would have done the other. We're gonna use our Lava Coil instead, and we are preloading our next turn with the Season of Growth. And here is Divine Visitation. However, this time, I believe it is too little too late. The key to that combo is you're gonna to wanna to probably play Divine Visitation first, and then afterwards play your Chandra to get the, the huge initial uh, four force because you'll never have a chance for that to be removed that way because you have priority We're in for four here, and that is beyond game unfortunately Heroic reinforcements is pretty cool. So he's able to uh, Get those out. They all get plus one plus one for the turn as well. So we're looking down the barrel of two five five angels Which is exceptionally heavy He does have vigilance on them as well, so Normally we would be screwed, but we have two Reckless Rages in pocket, and we also have a God's Willing, which we could use, so either way, it's win-win. We draw a ton of cards here, which is Groovy. God's Willing, we don't need. We already have. It can go. And we get two lands. So with that, we take a little damage, and with this, I believe... We upset our opponent so much that he forfeits. Another Legionnaire. We absolutely love that. It's not forfeiting. We're going to kill him with our Legionnaire. Eight points of damage to do. And here comes six plus two is eight. And double scry. Land can go. Land can go. Alrighty. So we cement another victory, which is really nice. And with... That's game, easy peasy. We're able to uh, just out bash. So these last two matches uh, were recorded the night before on Twitch, so I have no voice over for them as well. Um, the first match we play here is against a totally weird custom deck. He is, uh, what is it, uh, Knight of Gales, the, uh, or sorry, Cavalier of Gales, uh, with Omen Speaker, uh, very, very weird deck we see here, but we're able to pull out the win, and then next match we actually play a Timir Elementals deck, which goes the distance, uh, it's a really good match to watch. So I hope you enjoy these last two videos without commentary. If not, feel free to quit watching. And a quick reminder, if you've enjoyed any of the content this far, if you like, comment, and subscribe, it's greatly appreciated. All of those good things. Uh, here we do see the Omen Speaker drop, which is 
I guess maybe a little bit silly, but uh, you know, maybe they're playing an artifact deck or something. It gets you the, the scry too, which is pretty cool, but what is the scry for? We thought he was playing uh, Simic, but now he's got like he's got swamps in there as well, so a very, very weird deck. Definitely not a meta deck by any means. Um, so yeah, enjoy the rest of this match. I don't think it's necessarily worth breaking down play by play. Um, you guys are all smart enough to see where I'm going with that. I could break down uh, the sideboard guides, I guess. I'll do that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching again.
So we won round one. Looking at our sideboard here, uh, we're not so sure what we want to change um, because it was such a weird deck, right? Uh, he did have the big uh, Cavalier of Gales, so we like the Fry. A lot of blue flyers. We'll probably take out a couple vanguards. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, cook it from there.
so we know we're playing against elementals. We probably want a prison realm, I'm guessing, to deal with some of his planeswalkers, but that round worked out pretty good, so we're just gonna wing it. We're gonna go raw dog back into the match with no changes. So luckily for us, our opponent is very impatient. He must absolutely hate um, the style of play that we're using right now. Admittedly, I have been watching Legion Season 3 all day, so I'm a little slow on the plays. But nonetheless, a win's a win's a win. It is game. Thanks for watching again, guys. I hope you enjoyed our content, and I hope you're all looking forward to our no new content production schedule make sure to check that out we're gonna have a new intro video for the channel coming out soon i've been working on that so stay tuned thanks for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and we will see you all tomorrow